Good Excel knowledge is a requirement for many jobs these days, but we all have different understanding of what good or advanced knowledge really is. So a lot of employers will ask specific Excel questions during interviews. Today's video will help you prepare for that. To give you some context, some time ago, I asked the community to share which Excel questions they got when applying for jobs. Also, if they were the interviewer, which questions they asked. Now to get the most out of it, I summarized the responses based on different positions that people were applying for. The result was really surprising. So I expected the obvious VLOOKUP or what does the dollar sign mean in style references, those type of questions, but that wasn't the most common question. I'm going to share the type of questions with you in a second so you know what topics to concentrate on. But I obviously can't answer all those questions here because that's going to be a beginner, advanced and super advanced course all in one. So instead, I've added links to the description of this video that cover most of the topics that I talk about here. Also, if you prefer to learn in a more structured way with a lot more hands on practice, taking a course may be a good preparation for you. So here's the surprising part. Regardless of position, whether it was data analyst, financial analyst, project manager, or systems accountant, the two most common topics that were specifically asked and checked were pivot tables and how to remove duplicates. Now this was then followed up with the lookup function, specifically VLOOKUP, and then some ifs, count ifs, average ifs questions, and nested if functions. There was an emphasis on the nested part, so not just if functions, but nested if functions. Okay, so these topics are topics that you should definitely master. Now, how do they check? So how does the interviewer check your knowledge? Well, usually it was a combination of an indirect check and a direct check. So indirect is, for example, this question. What's your experience using Microsoft Excel to manipulate and analyze data? So this was a question that someone was asked who was applying for a logistics planner job at Amazon. Now, what does the interviewer want to hear? They want to hear pivot tables. They want to hear how you clean data, how you use more complex functions and tools and features to create your reports. Now, you can't just do name dropping though. You should actually have created these reports and know how to use the features that you talk about. Now, here's the point of view from someone who is the interviewer. This is what they said. I have one question in the interview that just asks how people use Excel in their current or previous position. I want to hear about their use of Excel in reporting. And if they mention pivot tables, then it will go a long way for them. Just remember though, that mentioning these keywords is not enough because a test might follow. So this person went on to say, on top of that, then I made an Excel test for my candidates that they complete after the interview portion. The test consists of four simple exercises, sorting, pivot tables, creating a basic chart from a table of data, and entering some simple calculations on the side of some data and then filtering and totaling to get the result. I can pretty easily tell how people attempted to answer the Excel questions and their level of skill with Excel. And I give them 30 minutes to complete. Now here's the interesting part of what was said. Most people say they use Excel extensively in their jobs in the interview, but yet when it comes time to do the exercises, they bomb that portion. So make sure that you practice before going to the interview. Okay, so that was a general look across all positions. Now let's cover specific positions and what else you might need to know. I'll start with business analyst. This also includes MIS analyst, so management information system analyst. In addition to the questions that we already covered, when you interview for a business analyst position, you can expect questions about charts, so creating charts from scratch, conditional formatting, your experience creating dashboards, and in terms of functions, the aggregate and subtotal functions were mentioned here as well. Next position, let's talk about data analyst. If you're interviewing to become a data analyst, 
you should familiarize yourself with these tools as well. Excel VBA and macros, Power Query, filters, so different ways of filtering your data, index and match, and some product. If you can also talk about how you use XLOOKUP or other new Office 365 functions, you're gonna get bonus points. Now, as an example, one person said, who was applying for a data analyst position that required a minimum, I think, of three years experience, they said that they had to know the difference between ActiveX and regular buttons. So I assume what they mean with regular buttons is the form control buttons. They had to know or explain the use case for arrays and also explain the sum product function. So now let's take a look at the financial analyst position. So in addition to the five topics that I mentioned at the beginning, which were pivot tables, removing duplicates, VLOOKUP, SUMIFS, and nested if functions, as a financial analyst, you should expect questions also about Power Query, simple VBA and macros, and date functions. Okay, so now let's take a look at more senior positions. So positions like team lead, finance manager, or HR manager. Here, I was actually surprised at the Excel knowledge that was expected. So in addition to pivot tables and the four other general topics that we took a look at, there was emphasis on Power BI, Power Query, and surprisingly, in a lot of cases, advanced VBA knowledge was required. So just to give you an idea, a team lead position that required over 10 years of experience needed to answer difference between match, index, and VLOOKUP, questions on different if conditions, how to debug errors on a VBA code, and loop function in VBA. Another one applying for finance manager job was asked questions about Power BI and Power Query, and another person was asked, what are the three drawbacks of VLOOKUP? And how would you look up a combination of two fields using VLOOKUP or index and match? Now I have many videos on index and match on the channel. I've added the link together with other relevant videos that can help you with your interview questions, also to the description of this video. If you'd like to go from beginner to advanced on a specific topic, for example, VBA or Power Query, you can also check out my complete courses. We cover many examples and you have lifetime access, so you can always come back to them whenever you need. Okay, so that wraps up the most common Excel interview questions that you might get. Thank you so much to the community for sharing your experience with me so that I can share it with you. Basically, by practicing regularly and going through these questions, you'll be prepared for your next interview. I hope you found this video useful. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Many thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.